I'm at the Giro d'Italia and I've been lucky enough to get access to the Bardo in Merida bus, a team headed by Vincenzo Nibli, two-time winner of the Giro, and of course he did win the Tour in 2014. I reckon it's about time we show you all a behind the scenes look. And before we get on though, sponsor Conti have sorted them out with bus tires as well as bike tires. Whew. So as we walk on board, we're met by two seats. This is number one seat, and that's normally reserved for the director sportive. So he knows where he's going, he can chat to the bus driver and also the riders if they need him. But if a rider does well on a stage, then he normally sits up here. And if you've seen the Tour or the Giro, you've got the teddy bears or the flowers decorating the front dashboard. Then you get onto the next seat, the most important seat in the bus, and that is, of course, the bus driver's seat. And on the front here, he's got the Garibaldi. This is the Bible of the race, and it's really got absolutely everything in, from hotels like there to the stages, basically anything you need to know, this will have it. And he's actually got two here, so I'm guessing this is for the direct sportive, and that's one over there is for the bus driver. So straight away we're met by nine seats. These are like first class seats in planes, not that I've ever used one. Right, I reckon I'll take a seat in Vincenzo Nibali's. This is a place he will relax, chill out before the race, and it's a safe haven for the riders to be able to just, you know, prepare themselves mentally and physically ready for the race ahead. Wow, it is incredibly comfortable. They can lean back, swivel. I'm trying to work out how to swivel it. Right, you can cut that a bit. <laughs> and you're basically able to just chill out and prepare yourself mentally and physically for the race. And it's worth mentioning as well that over here, it's kind of your tech box. You've got your iPad in there, your charging, your radio mics. And also, Vincenzo's got his spare jersey there. I don't know if it's because he's looking forward to getting on the podium and keeping it nice and clean. So we'll have to wait and see by the end of tomorrow. They've got their wet bags up here. And if I pull out, let's say Ports of Evos, if it comes out, there we have it. So they're all labeled. So you've got jacket, vests, jersey, shorts. Really important to have shoes and shoe covers, just in case they kind of break a shoe mid-race or yeah, so they can swap them out nice and easily. Shoes are actually a really personal thing, so it's nice to keep as many spares as possible. So I just grab Ports of Evo's Chicon wet bag. This lives in the back of the team car, and it's labelled really nicely, which makes it easy for the mechanic to grab arm warmers, leg warmers, or even a cape at short notice. All right, put that back up there. Let's move on back to the middle of the bus. Over here, we've got the sink pretty self-explanatory, but the riders have to keep clean and hygiene is really important. You don't want to spread viruses, especially during a three-week grand tour. Cleaning products, everything is sparkling. Moving on from the sink, we're onto the fridges. Cool on the outside and also cool on the inside. Coke Zero and lemon soda, and also water, super key for hydration, especially in this heat of Italy. Put those back. On top, you've got an array of different uh, cereal toppings, nuts, what's this? More nuts, more nuts, rice cakes. Over here, we've got TVs, two in fact, of the bus, and this is where the director can show the, the race palmares, or even the directors can watch the race as it's happening on there. Moving back, my personal favorite, we've got an espresso machine, a rocket espresso machine. Can I make coffee? I'm not very good at barista skills though. So you've got rocket espresso. Italians love their coffee, and I think all cyclists do in fact. So having a proper coffee machine is imperative on a team bus. Down here, microwave. Let's look inside these. Look at that, what have we got here? So these are all the espresso pods. Not that you need to use them because you've got your rocket espresso there, but I guess it's for just quick access. Under here, you've got sugars, sweeteners, little plastic takeaway espresso cups because, well, Italians only have espresso. 
So think of it like a motorhome. You've got the lounge area, and then you've got the kitchen, the espresso machine, and your fridges. And now we're on to the bathroom. So you've got two showers here. You've got one there and one here. They're not the biggest space-wise. I mean, this is a bus. Pretty sizable. And then over here, we've got the loo or toilet. Interestingly, you've got urinal, ease, and then number two, sink. Pretty stylish one at that. I think that, that, that one looks better than the one I've got in my house. So we've come to the back of the bus where you've got loads of different areas of storage. Let's have a look in here. Right, this is where all the nutrition products are stored. So you've got the gels, you've got gel shots, you've got whey protein for recovery. And in here, you've got an array of different bars. That is uh, pretty well organized. And this is where the riders can come to the back of the bus before the stage and grab a handful of products like that put in their back pockets. Moving right to the back. Oh, they've left me a hat. I'll be the Bahrain, Bahrain supporter for the day. Super nice, comfortable area where you could just relax in the back of the bus. It's actually a really nice area to be in. You've got another TV, so you've got three TVs in total. And in here, I'm pretty sure these are the radios. Yes, I'm right. Radio's also a really important part of the races, so the DSs can talk to the riders during the race. And also, the radios for the, the buses and all the team vehicles. If we look behind the seats, we've got umbrellas, which will maybe needed for tomorrow. But over here, I've just spotted Vincenzo Nibali's own book, all about the shark. Do you reckon he reads this, or is he giving it to someone? <laughs> As the riders start to get on the bus, I better get off the bus. Thank you so much, Bardo and Marita, for letting us come aboard your bus. If you guys really enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And for more Giro content, why don't you click down there? And don't forget, if you want to get your hands on these t-shirts, then to click up here.